she get high, cause she get by moon. Bye. Hello to all my people out there. What's up, what's up, what's up? I feel like I haven't been in front of a camera in so long. I gotta get used to this again. You guys, like, what happened? Where have I been? Technically, the last vlog is from my birthday, which was in Toronto, and that was in November, December, January, February, March, April, a whole five months ago. <sighs> we gotta get into this. Before I get started, I just want to let you guys know that I just got my wisdom tooth removed yesterday. Aww. So my face is a bit swollen and I am in some pain, but I'm going to try to get through this video. <laughs> Throughout the five months, I have been making notes. So I'm going to definitely touch on a lot of topics as to where I have been, how Jazari is doing, what's going on, where do we live? Do I live in Canada? Do I live in Jamaica? How am I keeping up? what's been going on while we're talking i'm going to be rejuvenating my hair if you don't know i am a hairstylist and my company brand is rejuvenating queen so i gotta get myself rejuvenated i have this install for about a week now and it's just looking very rugged so we gotta make you know that disappear to the best of our ability lay back down our edges and i'm gonna be straightening my hair while talking to you guys I don't know if I feel for any lashes or any makeup or anything like that because, you know, it's Jamaica and it's so hot. I'm going to just run off camera just to save some time because I can't really focus while doing this part. I'm just going to go ahead and melt back down my hairline and lay the edges down, tie it down. Once that's complete, I'll jump back on camera and start flat ironing up the hair for you guys and definitely getting into all the updates. Where have I been, you guys? Life has been... <laughs> down but it's time to get back up you guys be right back for you guys it'll be literally like one second for me give me like 10 15 minutes i completed the top piece i didn't do anything too serious because you know it's almost time for this to just come off in general but yeah I'm just gonna start off with brushing out the hair and then we can start touching on the first topic so I do have a few clips that I'm going to insert and be, I don't know if I mentioned that already, but I'm going to be inserting a few clips just to give you guys an insight on like what's been going on down to even when I got my wisdom tooth pulled out, I actually was vlogging because I knew that I would be making this clip soon. So yeah. Anywho guys, so from the time that I left Toronto, okay, no. When I was in Toronto getting ready to leave to come back home, there's been a lot of mishaps and like it was like breathtaking. I couldn't believe it. Everything was just happening so quickly and like, I don't know. So let's just get into it. I have never missed a flight in my life. Okay. Never in my life have I ever missed a flight in Toronto for some reason when it was time for me and Jazari to leave. We missed our flight. We were traveling with an extra party. So I don't know if that had anything to do with it. Because when it's normally just me and Jazari, which has been over like five times, we're usually spot on. Meaning we're ahead of ourselves. We're on time, you know. But this time around, we were traveling with um, an extra individual. And unfortunately, I, I, I don't know where things went wrong, but... Things definitely took a turn for the worst and we missed our flight. I don't want to get into it. Um, if you guys want a detailed video on that, then definitely I can provide that. Um, keep in mind that I do not have a mirror in front of me, so I most likely will be turning to the side to see myself a lot. Um, yeah, because the mirror's over there. Anyways, so following with the missed flights, we didn't have any insurance on the flights, okay guys? So it was literally just gone down the drain, okay? So that's basically throwing away like a thousand dollars and keep in mind that I am a single mother and I went to Canada to go ahead and hustle and make a lot of money to spend here in Jamaica and for us to live. So that was the first burden that threw me off. Okay. Now, because we missed a flight to catch back a flight at a reasonable price, I said, okay, let me try to get the best deal. Unfortunately, the best deal was a week away. 
So the week that we had to spend extra in Toronto, providing for myself and Zari came out of my pocket again. So I had to go buy back a week's worth of grocery and just like another week of gas money, another week of this, another week of that. You know, you just plan to be somewhere and it doesn't work out that way. So now you're spending extra where you're not supposed to be. So yeah, that was that. So we missed our flights, okay? And if I do somehow forget something, then I will jump back. It's just been a turn of weird events that just threw me off of YouTube in general. I'm like, okay, you know what? I'm going to have to take a break, sit back and chill and reevaluate my entire life because I, 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 I can't, I can't, I can't. It's a little bit too much to bear, especially when you have so much planned and like it's to do what you need to do. Now, I don't know if you remember, but in my birthday vlog, I had set aside a certain amount of money to buy myself more equipment for YouTube, which was my camera and better lighting and the tripod stands that match the camera and stuff like that. Unfortunately, dipping into that money, it threw me under the bus. So I'm like, if I don't have the camera that I want to vlog with and I'm not getting the quality of content that I want, is this really worth it? I think I'm just going to take a break from YouTube in general, which is what just happened naturally. And then tying into that, it's like, what YouTube is nowadays is not like what it was back in the day. So I was just overall deterred from being on YouTube. Like before, back in the day, YouTube would be like one of my number one apps to go ahead and watch something. Now I open the app and I'll be scrolling until I realize like, okay, you've been scrolling for a long time. YouTube is not bumping. So it also didn't give me any urge to press pressure like, putting vlogs out there and stuff like that because even me myself i wasn't spending time on the app like i haven't watched a vlog or a video on youtube in so long so i just said you know what i always put people in my shoes and i feel like people feel the way that i feel so i said you know what i'm not gonna be able to put no vlogs out there under this type of momentum i gotta uplift myself and then come back again please don't remind sorry please don't mind the way that i'm flat ironing my hair because I can't see what I'm doing. I literally just set up the camera so that I could talk to you guys and give you guys some updates. But yeah, I'm going to try my best. I guess my best bet is to just keep it on my shoulders, okay? Also to mention, my locks are growing beautifully underneath this. If I have any clips, then I'll insert them here. Thank God for my locks because when this wig comes off, Oh, it's one of the best feelings ever to know that I have natural hair that I could just throw up into a pony or even just a bun without any extensions and your girl is popping. I don't know if I mentioned it already, but Jazari is supposed to be home any minute now from school. School is over now. I don't know. I had to spend the rest, the first half of my morning kind of relaxing, getting my face back into the groove because I'm so sore. And then... um I just jumped up and said, let me just record this video quickly before he comes home, but he might make it home in time to catch me like still recording. If that does happen, then definitely you guys will see him. Jazari got his first bite ever. I hope it's his last bite from a wasp and it bit him in his face. So he does look a little bit different. His face is swollen and he did lose his top tooth. So he just looks like a whole different child. But nonetheless, he's just so cute. He's so handsome. So if he does come home in time, then I'll definitely give you guys a flick of my wow wow. My niece and my nephew, nephew actually made a vlog on YouTube about Jazari's birthday. We had an Airbnb and we just had like a little party for him, blew up the balloons, gave him his gifts, cut the cake and stuff like that. Hey, are you recording? Yeah. Yo, 
welcome. Here, close your eyes. Yeah. One thing at a time. One thing. Yeah. Ooh. Yep. Take it up. Ooh. Ooh. Open. Open. Eyes. What's that? Is a military plane. It's an airplane? No, a military, military plane. plane. Oh. Do you like it? Yeah. <laughs> Look, next one. Close your eyes. <laughs> Air Force. That, that. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa hey! Now you did your avatar reflux. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh, what's that one? What is what's that? that? What's that? Dude, I don't, I don't really know hey. what that is. What's... Shh. Oh. <gasps> Whoa! Another airplane! Wait, 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 wait. What is going on? Okay. Thing. That's the it. last one. Where's it? Right there. There you go. Yeah. Happy birthday, Papa. There you go. Thank what? you. Yeah. What kind of airplane is that one? Oh, this one. This one is. Oh, it's like a movie about it. Uh, this plane made an emergency takeoff. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's a movie about it. Uh, this plane made an emergency taking off. It got a at a white plane on the front of it, and then it crashed. Oh, that one. Mhm. Mm oh wow. Okay, next present. Oh, last but not least. Oh, shit. Can I my eye this time? Yes. <laughs> Is that from Day Day? Oh. And, the, and the rest of us. Yeah. Oh, oh, my gosh. Are you sure? Oh, my gosh. Get it in the cake, boy. Open, read. You want me to help you read it? Dear Jazard, happy birthday. Your birthday always happens once a year. It always falls on December twenty, December thirty first. You are the best in the world. XOXO dating. Auntie Jamela said, Auntie Jamela loves you to the moon and back. You know how far that is. <laughs> Just Grandma says, Hey Jazari, happy sixth birthday. May all your wishes come true. May many more blessings. Grandma, <laughs> love you, Papa. Bat bat, sun sun forever. <laughs> Oh, bop bop. Whoa. Happy sixth birthday with God. Richest blessing. What is his name? Ronnie. Happy birthday, Jazari. That's Kai Kai. Aww. Yeah. Wow. Do you like it? I love you. What do you say? Thank you. Look, hold up your money. So you're rich. Hold up your money. Zari, look! That's too far. Oh, look. You're like, oh, I want to see the 2000. Wow. Hold on, so I want to see the 2000. Okay. So in, in Canada, I should say, I was split between two cities. So I was in between my city and my mother's city. My mom lives in London, Ontario, which is two hours away from Toronto, Ontario. So I would go back and forth, back and forth, um, making sure to get a lot of business done, buying all the sales and stuff like that, getting ready to pack the barrels. Because as a lot of you guys do know, I did ship back down another three barrels. So I was glad to get a lot of that stuff done, but I was just hoping to come back to Jamaica with a lot more money than I initially did end up coming back with. Here's another mishap that threw me off of the entire YouTube thing. I don't mean to be bouncing back from topic to topic, but because I was already talking about not being on YouTube, when I arrived back into Jamaica, about a week later, I was editing my birthday vlog, I believe it was. There was a video that I was editing, and Jazari accidentally broke my laptop screen. So again, a lot of you guys know this, because I did make a post about it on TikTok, and that threw me under the bus. I cried for days. I felt like I couldn't breathe, because I have like the newer version of the, Mac the MacBook. It's not the old one that's so easy to fix, and... Living in Jamaica, that's not easy to get done either, right? So, my laptop being broken was another expense. Call it like another $1,000 spent on replacing the screen, the labor, traveling back and forth to the man who's doing it and stuff like that. And then I waited for my laptop to finish being fixed only to come home and try to hit back on the content again and be beaten right back down. My laptop would not stay on. So I was overall distraught. I had to go back to him again. It took another month, which is another reason why I was off of YouTube for so long. 
and he said that it was because of the piece some piece was missing and there was just a whole bunch of things like imagine having a macbook in jamaica going through like repairs your heart's gonna be in shambles and all over the place because we all know jamaica is supposed to be this third world country and it's like there's no apple store here so we got to do with what you know we have and then another option that i have was to order the screen from apple with my mom because as i told you guys they all came down for december and she could have brought the screen for me but unfortunately it was like too quick in time so that wasn't that wasn't ideal i had to go with what i could do on the spot so let's get into my family coming down here so uh, midway through december my family arrived in jamaica my niece my nephew my sister and my mother nice to meet you. <laughs> in jamaica and later on my sister had some friends come down and join her you guys it was the time of life i literally made sure to put down the camera even though i wanted to vlog and catch little pieces instead i caught clips so if you're following me on instagram and tiktok as i said before you will see all the shenanigans that we were keeping up with like we had the time of our life. Even my older brother came down with his two daughters, which is my other nieces, and they were in a separate Airbnb, but you guys, it was basically an entire family trip. So we had everybody going on every excursion. We went ATV riding. We went zip lining. For Jazari's birthday, I brought him across the entire line. Oh my God, he's so brave. You guys, I'm gonna be inserting so much clips I went to Margaritaville with them. We did Ochi Reels. We went partying. Go, Woo! 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 Hey! Woo! hey. hey. Really good? Sit down? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm sitting down. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, it looks crazy. Sorry. <laughs> no. no, it's okay. No, I'm just joking. Oh my god. Very fun. Oh my god. Stop! Okay. Okay. Sit. It's okay. I'm okay. It's okay. Okay, just go off the edge. Okay, bye guys. I'll see you in the next recite, okay? <laughs> I love you guys. See you in okay, the next bye. life. Bye. What the hell? Such a big boy. Yeah, it's okay. Yep. Oh my god, wait. Okay, no. It's Stop, okay. Ah! No! Oh. no! I'm scared! What? Don't push me! Don't worry, sit. You're good, sit. Yeah, it's okay. ah. Ah. 
Okay. Yeah, drive with you. No, no. Oh, I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> Next day. If you know, see there up as a bar It's like a hideaway. I see road that way drive. Oh. But you told. I went bus there, so you black bus there. That income track. But yes, sir. And I give you drive, but you told. So what now? They say it's like a hideaway. Well, you know, the kind of a new lover. They want a hideaway and time. Uh, come, come, girl. We're going to go do some activity on the boat. Then. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, did we do sands? Yeah, we went to sands and then we had like an issue with sands. Sands got locked off. I'll definitely insert that. And as soon as it got started back up, we were already like on our way out the party. So my mom and my sister are like, no, we're not going to do that. But deep down inside, I wanted to stay because I'm like, I paid all this money to be here. I don't want to leave yet. But my mom and my sister were over it. They're like, no, I'm not, definitely not going to go back into the party and set back up our bottles and do all that weird stuff. So they were just over it. They said, forget it. We're going home. And that's that. So of course, being that I was with them the whole night and all that good stuff, I have to go with them, right? Right. So... We did that. I want to try to insert a whole bunch of clips as to what has been going on with us and all that stuff. It's just been so fun. We got to spend so much time in the Airbnb together and just reunite the way that we normally would in Canada. And it just felt so good to be on vacation and to not always hearing my mom and my sister saying, oh, they are at work or they're at work, 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 work. They're actually relaxing in Jamaica on vacation. So that is the time of, say, December to January. Now, February and on, everybody left. It's just me and Jazari now. It's time to get ready for back to school. Because after the Christmas break, you know, it's back to school. So I made sure to buy up all Jazari's supplies, all his food, the groceries, and all that good stuff. And just make sure to overall stock back up the place on how I would normally have it in order for him to have a decent day at school. I really wanted to be vlogging all of this. But like I said, there's just been a whole bunch of mishaps like the camera that I didn't get to buy, my laptop being broken, my flights being missed. Everything was just crumbling down at the moment. And then when my family left me, I'm just like, okay, it's time to get serious on the vlog again. And I'm like, okay, I cannot get serious on the vlog because my laptop's not ready yet. So overall, it was just a whole bunch of like events that kept taking place, guys. But I'm still here. Nonetheless, yes, we are still living in Jamaica. Jamaica is the best place to be. I will always advocate that. There's no going back on that. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I put on a lot of weight. Okay. I have gained about like 20 pounds. And since I've been back in Jamaica over the four months, I've been able to take off about like 15. So I need to go back down like five more to say that I am where I'm supposed to be. But guys, again, there are so much factors that tied into why I did not want to be on camera because imagine trying to put on your outfits and everything just doesn't fit or if it does fit it's just extremely tight i couldn't do it so i said you know what i have to cut down i tried to start going for walks and just cutting down on the eating drinking a lot more water and just not eating late at night and stuff like that and then that wouldn't last for me so i would continue to put on weight and then i realized that like okay <clears throat> i have to cut down 
for the eating. That's the only way that I could lose weight. So I literally had to like go on a starvation mode for like two to three days, only drinking water and like a little snack here and there. And then I would see the pounds dropping. And what I do is just go ahead and brighten up my heart. And I like to do that with some makeup. And then I go in with some root spray just to give it that nice, decent look. And while we're doing that, let's talk about Jazari. Jazari has been growing amazing. Jazari is doing so well in school. He's very well mannered. He has a lot going on for him and he's improving like by the minute. Jazari is writing all his sentences. Jazari knows how to read. Jazari is doing his math. I'm just so proud of him, you guys. There's nothing that Jazari is like not up to par with because every time I notice anything, I'll nip it in the butt and we're on it. So if I see that he's having a problem pronouncing like a certain word, I'll go ahead and work on that word for like three days and that's it. He's good to go again. And also, Jazari is in a state where he's overworking me. I feel like every five minutes, he has something to show me. Every five seconds, he wants to show me Roblox or the solar system or his dinosaurs or come look at this outside, mummy, or mummy, I could do this. And then he does like these dances and he's like, mommy, look what I could do. And he does the same thing like every 15 minutes so it becomes repetitive in my mind like you just showed me that dance move we're really doing this again mommy look what i could do and then he does it again and i'm like yeah cool every time i have to tell him yeah that's so cool and in my mind i'm like again but because he's a child it's like i have to just keep you know what i mean i'll never ever 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 break that little feeling of my mommy likes what i'm doing or whatever because he's a child right but at the end of the day me as a mom i'm like bro I've had enough of this. Like, call daddy, 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 daddy. Because I can't do this anymore. This is crazy. I'm going to part my hair. Okay, there we go. So normally... I would hot comb and flatten the top of my head, but I am so lazy right now to go and plug in all of those things. I'm literally just going to be recording this video and running on the road for like a quick date, grab some food and head back home. So it's not that serious, but I am going to lighten the part like I did say. But yeah, big up to Jazari. He's doing amazing and I appreciate every step of the way that he's doing. He's still doing great with the whole jamaica thing since coming back from canada i noticed that he does say it a lot more but it's not really in the means of being in canada he wants to be around his auntie jamela if he gives trouble and i'm like i'm gonna send you back to canada to go live with your dad he's like no i want to live with auntie jamela i'm like if you look on my page i have made all my jamaican content private if you haven't realized that it's probably too late because I think after this video, I'm going to go ahead and unprivate them for me to want to pick up the camera and say, okay, welcome to another video because it's like I can't be my natural self because I know somebody's sitting there watching me and they don't want their arm in it or they don't want their foot. And half the time, it's not them, it's me. But overall, just protecting people's privacy has been a big thing in my head and it's just been deterring my whole entire video. So if you're watching this video and you come around me, encourage me to vlog that way i know that like i'll be comfy and you will be okay with being on camera a lot of people they just feel like oh i look like shit or i don't look good you look good you should be on camera <laughs> but yeah that's been my surroundings lately i'm pretty sure there's gonna be a whole bunch of things that i've missed while editing this video so just subscribe and make sure you are following for the next couple of videos because i'm gonna be getting into detail about really moving into jamaica and how i feel about it and you know the ups and downs and my trials and my tribulations and stuff like that because trust me there are things that go wrong um even in this vlog i'm going to be showing you guys when i pay my bills how much the bills are like for example one month of the jps here was a hundred dollars um it wasn't me alone using the electricity so that's why which is ten thousand dollars jamaican a hundred dollars canadian <clears throat> my internet bill is seven 
thousand a month, which is seventy dollars Canadian. And then we have my phone bill, which varies depending on what I feel for. I could put as much money as I want on my phone here and there. And then groceries is another like two hundred dollars every week. So it's like there are certain expenses that I don't really get into, but I just need you guys to leave a comment below so that I know that you guys want to see these types of videos because I have no idea what you guys want to see, right? But I am here to provide, although I don't have the right equipment, I'm always willing and ready to give you guys what you want. Living here in Jamaica is no joke and I'm ready to show you guys the ins and outs of me, the Toronto City Girl, living in the countryside of Trelawney, Jamaica. Stay tuned for the couple of videos that will be coming out next after this. Thank you guys so much for following along my journey. My DMs, my inboxes, my Snapchat, everything is filled up. My TikTok of people who are very inquisitive on how to get to Jamaica. So I believe I'm going to be starting a series soon. And along with that series, it will be a business. So if you don't mind, you will be having to provide funds in order to gain information that I have that could be valuable for you, your children, your family members, or anybody of that sort willing and looking to move to jamaica once again thank you guys so much for subscribing watching this video i will see you guys in my next one i guess jazari didn't make it home in time hi you hi. are home from school how was school today good you got some mess on your face yeah but of the popsicle because of the popsicle yeah all right well i just wanted to check in you can say bye youtube bye youtube so today was, uh, um, what is it called, P.E. Gears Day. So without trying to show you guys the label on his clothes, this is his outfit instead of the brown. So he wears that. But yeah, so bye-bye.